Amanda here, and I felt like getting into the spirit of things by getting in touch with my inner zombie. This is because Dead Island releases September 6th. So to prepare for it, I felt like we'd do a week of zombie and horror reviews all leading up to Dead Island. I hope you all enjoy. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Millie from Pittsburgh for letting me borrow his special effects kit. Report unusual behavior. Barricade your homes. Avoid all contact with infected individuals. Wait for official instructions. <laughs> Wait my ass. Kill all sons of bitches. That's my official instructions. For a while there, I didn't think Left for Dead could get any better. But in 2009, I was proven wrong when Left 4 Dead 2 came out. In this sequel, we're given four new characters with their own unique personalities. You got Rochelle, Coach, Nick, and Ellis, who all are stationed in the South. And Left 4 Dead 2 wants to take its players all the way from Georgia to Louisiana. Hey, where is everybody? Hello? Oh, this is not happening. Anyone here? This is not happening. This is not happening. Aren't they supposed to be saving our asses? Looks like there's been a change of plans. Gameplay in this is the same as the first, so no need to fret about what button to hit for pills. Valve gives us more infected this time around. You have the Charger, Spitter, and Jockey. My favorite is probably the Jockey, because he creeps me out the most. I mean, he jumps on top of your shoulders, and he just looks horrifying. The Spitter projectiles acid at the players, whereas the Charger kind of looks like a tank and rams you right into a wall. Now your goal in this is to still make your way to the nearest safe room till you complete the story you choose. My favorite out of all the new levels though is Dark Carnival. They really make it scary when they send zombie clowns your way with squeaky shoes. Seriously though, these maps are so well put together and look fantastic. They all flow together so well. Other maps that are notable in this game are Swamp Fever, Dead Center, The Parish, and Hard Rain. Now with weapons in this game, a really cool feature that they added were melee weapons. The creators did the right thing when they decided to do this. I absolutely love carrying around melee weapons, my favorite personally being the katana. But the different modes in Left 4 Dead 2 are all worth trying, except single player. And I only say this because this game is just meant for multiple players. It just seems too boring to sit there and play by yourself. You got Versus, which is probably the coolest feature out of the whole game. This is where you and other teammates try and wipe out the other team as Special Infected. All in all, I love this series. I can't say 2 is my favorite because Lewis is dear to my heart, but it's definitely just as good as the first one and it offers a lot more. Now you can either buy 1 and 2 for $29.99 on Steam or you can buy 2 by itself for $19.99. The choice is up to you. Now go prepare yourself for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> 